here at Kachini Yoga and welcome back to Alignment, a free mini course. This course is chock full of tips and tidbits to help you to get back into a space of alignment mentally, physically, and energetically. Today we're going to be talking with Sharitha Nicole of Infinite Wellness and she's going to be talking to us about alignment uh, through Reiki, massage, touch, and stillness, which is really exciting to me. Uh, and these things are really near and dear to me when you think about uh, touch and Reiki. But first off, um, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business and about what um, what is Reiki? Hi, I'm Sharitha Nicole, owner of Infinite Wellness, massage therapist, Reiki therapist. So, what is Reiki? <laughs> Reiki is the art of laying on of hands, but I don't have to, or any Reiki therapist does not have to force your, the energy. It just flows. We're divine vessels that uh, channel divine healing energy. And so it's more of a hovering over. It heals at the cellular level. It heals on an energetic level, mental, emotional, and spiritual level the things that we can't see. So Reiki is more of an energy healing. Yes. Okay, awesome. So so you said laying on a hand and hovering. So I can imagine that um, doing massage and doing Reiki can maybe kind of come together at one point. Do you ever feel like those two are interchangeable? Oh yes, very, very much so. Um, I don't control my Reiki hands. They just turn on whenever a client needs energetic healing. A lot of times we don't realize um, when we're when our body is ailing, our physical body, that we need some emotional, mental, and spiritual healing. And so when I'm in the midst of a massage, my Reiki hands will turn on. So the person is getting that energetic um, healing as well as the physical touch. Physical touch is always good, but um, it's an additive <laughs> when your therapist is a Reiki therapist because you are getting that nourishment from uh, the places that you need, that emotional, mental, uh, energetic, and spiritual healing as well. Wow, that's awesome. So, you know, um, I'm thinking about a time when I heard a lady and she was talking about how, how she ended up in Reiki is through the massage. And um, while she was doing a massage on one of her clients, she actually was able to go into his past life. And once it, it really, she saw it so clearly, and she said that once he woke up, he after he was done, you know, getting back ready, he said that um, uh, he made a, a mention about something about the dream he had had while they were in um, the session. Now she was obviously awake while she was doing the session, and it corresponded, so they went deeper into the conversation. And they had indeed went into a past life. So how often is it that during a massage or a Reiki session do you uh, channel situations like with through maybe their ancestors or through uh, past lives or just their energy in general? Right. Um, so that goes back to a different type of alignment where the therapist and the client <laughs> connect on an energetic and spiritual level because sometimes I can see what a client is thinking and feeling or um, hearing as well. And I'm clairsentient as also, um, also, so I will feel what they feel. And if I'm thinking, the client can easily pick up on what I'm thinking. And if they are thinking a certain thing or having their own experience like that gentleman did, then the therapist can pick it up as well. So we're really not as far apart as we think we are. <laughs> we're very, really, really connected. And being that massage and Reiki is so intimate, then you can um, channel those gifts. Those gifts will awaken the clear sentient, the clear audience, and you're able to further help a person um, get some understanding or understanding about their lives and what's yeah. going on. And you're able to tell them a lot of times in my sessions, I'm able to feel what a person is feeling or going through. <laughs> um, I had a lady one time, 
her knee was hurting, her left knee was hurting. And so my left knee started to hurt because her was, hers was hurting. And I asked her, hey, is your left knee hurting? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, are you being bendable, bendable and flexible? Because a lot of times when our bodies are aching, we're not uh, taking care of the emotional and mental uh, aspects of ourselves. So her left knee was hurting me and I, I was like, well, that's the maternal side of the body. So let's uh, do some work, extra work on that knee and see how we can get you to be more flexible in your life. Mm -hmm. So definitely when a person is in your intimate space, they can pick up and feel those things. And it's just, um, I believe we all have certain gifts when through touch, you can pick up on a, what a person is going through. And like I said, we're not as far as apart as we think we are. We're very intimate and very close, closely connected. <laughs> yes, I can't, I can't <laughs> agree anymore, wow. Um, so that, like you said, that's a, a different space of alignment. So mm -hmm. we're talking about through a Reiki, a med uh, massage, a meditation session, you can align the mental, physical, and energetic parts of self, mm -hmm. but then you also can align with your actual therapist, <laughs> which is, you know, I guess the way I'm seeing it is aligning with source. So you're yes. aligned with source, I'm aligned with source, and then when we align together yes. and we find that space of connection. So. Speaking of that, so in order to get the most and the most benefits from a session, what is it that you would recommend to your clients when they come in so that they can be in that space of alignment so they can be in reception, receptive to the gifts and to the messages that come through? Awesome. Well, I always send out a um, text message, email, if they want to or desire to receive the Reiki. And I let them know that they will experience physical warmth or physical cold. <laughs> so I do offer my clients a blanket and I always tell them if you get too hot, you can throw the blanket off. Um, and I also let them know that we will talk beforehand because I need to know if you have any emotional baggage you want to take away or ready to get rid of, if you have mental stresses, mental fog, needing more clarity, um, if you have any physical pain because Reiki does still work on a physical level. We are physical beings <laughs> and I let them know all that they may experience. I let them know that it is the art of laying on of hands so you won't experiencing me forcing the energy having to push you or slap you or anything you may have experienced in the past <laughs> with the quote unquote art of laying on the pants uh, through church <laughs> i grew up in the church and many of us experienced that so um it's a hovering and i'm very open and i also let them know about the concerns that you may even get sick afterwards because when your body experiences new energy that you haven't felt before, it starts to purge out those things that you need to let go of. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when we're healing and when we're cleansing and purging, we will get sick because the, the divine energy is trying to push out those things that we don't need. That, that makes sense. I think... Um... I always refer to it as um, uh, the body, kind of like as a cell phone. I, I refer to it as, <laughs> as a car, I refer to it as a, as a machine, but yeah. when I think about it as a cell phone and I think about um, the, the energy, the divine energy coming in and it can't do what it needs to do if you've got all these outdated apps oh, that yeah. you, don't, don't, you no longer need or not beneficial and so you're just taking up memory and holding up space. And so you gotta purge all of that, those old text messages, yes. those old uh, and clear your cash, all, clear, clear your cash, <laughs> clear out all those apps that you don't need and you don't use anymore, so that you can make room for that. And um, like you said about purging, because even just let's not even take out Reiki. I have experienced several uh, uh, students who have been through actual massage mm -hmm. that um, has required them to purge afterwards because they were holding on so much and they would literally be on one side of the body so that's right. kind of interesting that you said that but um it what i was thinking about when you were talking about um 
we were talking about receiving some messages when the client is in that space. So we talked the other day about the three gunas and the the, the Thomistic energy, the three primal forces. Um, the Thomistic energy is the state of inertia. And so it's like, you know, the state of sleep, the state of meditation, the state of depression, the state of trance. And that is like the state of meditation when you're receiving, you know, divinely inspired guidance from whether it be from um, your higher self or, or otherwise. But that information is coming in in that state of receptivity. So uh, when they're in that state of meditation, and a lot of times I'm sure most people are falling asleep when they're in a massage session. <laughs> I do it all the time. It's like, oh, I'm gone. Where did I go? Yes. <laughs> but, um, you know, because I even in massage, I've actually had some OBE experiences during mm. a massage. I Really, always during acupuncture. It's just like, you know, I'm gone. Yes. So um, I, I would definitely recommend, you know, like you, like you said, to be ready and be open to reception and be open to all of these messages that are coming in during this state because that is what that state is for you yes. know for like that divine intervention so that is so cool but can you give um can you give us some tips that uh, we can do on a regular everyday basis if we're not in a, a reiki session or a massage session that we can do for our body physically mentally or energetically or that brings them all together yes so the art of stillness <laughs> um all of my clients receive breath homework so when you breathe <laughs> When you breathe, we don't normally, we don't breathe like we're supposed to on an everyday basis. We shallow breathe all day, every day, especially if we're running, we're going, or we're panicking about something, excited, we're shallow breathing. So when you normally take a full breath, your belly will expand. And when you exhale, it will uh, reduce or, um, What's the opposite of inflate? I can't think of it right now. But your belly button is cool. <laughs> Deflate. <laughs> Thank you. Your belly button will um, naturally go back to your spinal cord. And so, um, 21 breaths of deep breathing to get you into that trance state. You can do it at home by yourself. You can do it with meditation music or in quiet, in silence. And after taking those 21 breaths, I do recommend if you have an ailing part of your body or even if your emotions have been overwhelming for you, um, let's just say if you've been having chest pain. So you would take your hands while you're doing your deep breathing, breathing put them over your chest or over your heart and begin to give gratitude to your heart or to this space in your body where you're having pain, giving gratitude, saying, oh, thank you, heart, for pumping out blood all over my body. Thank you so much for working for me. Thank you for allowing me to see where I have neglected you. And so being able to say, I love you, I thank you, I give you gratitude, but I take responsibility for being neglectful. I take responsibility for ignoring you. I take responsibility for um, not treating you as I should. <laughs> Will allow you to begin the healing process. While your hands are over your heart or the space that is ailing you, you will imagine a golden light on your hands that is healing in that space in that area over your heart. Um, and this is very helpful because now you're beginning to channel divine intervention, like you said, <laughs> that um, being in that Thomas uh, state. Um, and now divine has taken over you and is beginning the healing process within your body, within your mind, within your energy, within your spirit. Um, another tip is to always drink plenty of water. Mm -hmm. We don't drink plenty of water after Reiki sessions, after massage sessions. I always tell clients to drink plenty of water. And I need to drink plenty of water too to replenish my energy that I'm getting out. Um, and also, if I'm doing Reiki, I'm channeling divine energy. And that energy is flowing through my body. So guess what? 
I need to flush out the toxins as well through my body. So it's just not the client that's receiving, I'm receiving as a therapist as well. Yeah, well, giving is receiving, receiving is giving. <laughs> you can't take one away from the other. Right, and so those are just a few tips that you can do on your own that I always give as homework. Well, those are awesome tips that you say, bringing yourself back into a space of alignment. Mm -hmm. And each and every organ and each and every gland in our body, you know, that's responsible for something different and always finding that space of alignment. A lot of times um, when we're in that neglectful space, you know, it's, 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 it's because we're so busy and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I know I have this little tinge or this little twinge or this little pain and I need to deal with it. But actually taking the time to give gratitude, to be responsible, like you said, and to actually send some... Um, some healing uh, oh, energy yeah. into it. Those are awesome tips. Um, how can we find you? What Can you give us some contact information, some social media information? Yes. <laughs> so you can find me at www.infinitewellness.com and it's spelled F-I-N-F-Y-N-I-T-E wellness.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram at Infinite Wellness. Facebook at Truth and Nicole and uh, Instagram at Truth and Nicole. So those are my contacts. Awesome! This has been so awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you. I hope that everyone who has heard this shares this video because all of us need a space of alignment. These are some awesome tips, and uh, I'm just so grateful that you came on. So I want to make sure that I express my <laughs> gratitude, and I hope that you express your gratitude by sharing it with the people that you love. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation on alignment as much as I have and I really hope that you take these tips and tidbits and bring them into your everyday life so that you can find ways to bring yourself into a space of alignment mentally, physically, and energetically because remember at the end of the day there is only one you so you have no choice but to shine. The divine in me bows in gratitude to the divine in each and every one of you. Namaste.